You're trying to rig a character in Blender uh, using automatic weights, but you're getting this uh, bone heat error. Failed to find solution for one or more bones. So we don't even know how many bones or which bones have failed. The reason, of course, is the mesh, it's, uh, it's messy. It's intersecting with itself in some areas. Uh, so the best option, but the most time consuming, would have been to re-topologize the mesh. Uh, to in order to optimize it but we're not doing that we're, we need to rig this model to this armature now the most popular option uh, that i've seen is to go into object mode hit edit uh, go into edit mode hit a to select everything mesh options clean up and then merge everything by distance so we removed 615 intersecting vertices that's, that's a lot. Let's try parenting it again. Uh, and it's still not working. So I'm going to undo everything, go back. Let's say it didn't, uh, you're not, like it, it's not working for us. One other option would be to reduce the number of polygons uh, and vertices in the mesh by using the decimate modifier. So I'm going to add, um, add the modifier. Nothing changes. We're going to reduce the ratio down to 75. 5%, 76% of its, of its original face count. Uh, let's apply it. Let's try to parent it again. Well, it's still not working. Okay, we're going to undo and go back to the modifier. Maybe reduce it down to 50% of its original face count. Apply, and then try to parent it again. Well, well now it worked. Well, not everything got covered. Some parts uh, are left untouched by the weight modifier, uh, by the weight paint, but it's fine. We can fix it later. So the problem with this is that the mesh topology is changing. You might lose some detail that you want to keep, like um, like it, the zipper here. We have, we're getting some artifacts here uh, on the model. I'm going to undo, I'm going to show it. Yep. So if you're not happy with this method, so I'm going to delete the modifier. There are two options left that I usually use, and they're really helpful for me. So one option that I've seen other riggers, not other riggers, like actual riggers use sometimes, is to scale the model up. So we're going to inc increase the size of our model um, by a few times. I don't know why, but Blender calculates uh, the actual distance between vertices uh, for weight painting. So. I'm going to select the model, I'm going to select the rig, I'm going to set the pivot point uh, for the 3D cursor because it's in the world origin, so we're going to scale around that. And we're going to scale it by um, 10, right? That's a lot. And let's try to parent it again. Well, it's loading. And it worked, I think. Let's try. Yep, apart from the Velcro part, everything worked. The only problem with this is that when you scale everything back, uh, the rig breaks, right? The mesh itself uh, breaks. So you'd have to only select the rig without the mesh, Alt S to clear the scale. And the mesh in, is now at 10x scale. I mean, it's fine. It's usually, you can work with it. Uh, but if you're at some point like if you accidentally clear the scale, you're left with this like little thing, um, with this broken mesh, basically. So we don't want that. Uh, I mean, sometimes we do, but if not, let's go back, undo everything. Go back and here. One option that's my favorite is to transfer weights from one object to another. So. One way we can do this, since we already know that this works when we apply or like when we increase the scale of the model, we're going to duplicate this uh, model to be our placeholder. I'm going to hide it by pressing H. I'm going to let's shade it randomly for, so we can distinguish between um, models, right? So I'm going to hide one of them, and let's say this will be our original uh, mesh. That's perfectly scaled. Ignore this uh, 
rotation. So, or rather, let's, okay, hide everything. I'm going to hide the, like, one of them. doesn't matter which one. I'm going to apply the scale or, like, increase the scale again for one of the objects by 10x, by 10 times, and parent it. Now we know it's working for this one. Now I'm going to uh, select only the mesh, or only the rig, sorry, and then clear the scale on that. Unhide everything. I'm going to hide the scarf. So one of the rigs now, let's choose which one. There it is. With this one, uh, not rigs, one of the meshes, has the proper vertex groups applied. So we need to transfer these vertex groups to the one with empty uh, vertex, vertex groups. So I'm going to select this one first, then select the target mesh, and then go into weight paint mode. In the, uh, up here, you'll see the transfer weight options. Transfer weights. Originally, this will be our um, window. So it'll have active layer. You'll have to change it from active layer to active layer to by name. That way, all the groups are transferred. Let's see if it worked. So we're getting some results here, which is great. I'm going to go back to object mode. Let's see which one is the higher scale. So we have the, so this one, right? Let's delete it. Or like you can hide it if you're not sure. And this, the clean mesh is now the only one remaining. But if we try to pose the rig, it's not registering. Well, because we didn't parent it. So now let's select the mesh, select the rig, control P to parent with nothing. We have to put uh, armature deform with, um, yeah, ignore the other options. Armature deform, we just parent it to the rig. Since it already has the proper vertex groups, the rig will uh, register them. Now, if we go into pose mode, there you go, it's moving and the scale is uh, normal. So this um, f like transfer weights function is pretty handy in Blender. For example, we have this part of the mesh that has not been um, picked up by the weight paint system, right? The Velcro. I'm gonna fix it by going to, going into edit mode, selecting only the um, part that's separated. Hit P to separate the selection into a, a, into its own object. So I'm gonna clear the weight paints here. Delete which? What is it? Delete all groups. Yeah. And now I'm gonna transfer the weights from this object to this one. Go into weight paint. Transfer weights. Since we've already done it before, we have the by name option selected. So the weights have been transferred. Uh, let's see if it worked. Let's try to pose it. Okay, it's working, right? You still ha still need to adjust some areas because it's clipping, but um, it's working just as we want for rough posing, like for concept work or what whatever. Now, I'm going to uh, select both of these, Control-J to merge it back into one object and yeah it's still working which is great this method uh, this transfer weights option can be helpful sometimes like like in this case and or in this case I'll show you what I mean some ob some objects are made up of uh, different pieces which are not connected together like um, this shoe has different parts of it separated and the weight painting system in Blender does not um, weight paint equally across like the whole object. Here's what I mean. If we parent it with automatic weights, let's give it a second. And then go into pose mode. You, you, you see what I mean where it, uh, the different like parts of the mesh have like paints uh, have weight paints applied in 
in different ways which is terrible so I'm gonna clear the parent remove the weight paints um, so the we're gonna use the transfer weights function to fix it so we need something that um, the shoes can something that resembles the shoes so we can project the weight paints on back onto it one way we can do we, we can do it is to remesh the shoes but um, what I like, what I like to do is to have a mesh like a cube wrap around the shoe using a shrink wrap modifier let's um, subdivide it maybe four times yeah and then shrink wrap it around the shoe gonna put outside the surface so this is how our cube looks now let's use that to project the weight paint uh, back onto our model so I'm gonna apply the mo uh, modifiers and I'm gonna try to parent it with automatic weights oh bone heat waiting failed to find solution okay doesn't matter let's try our pre previous uh, method let's increase the size of our mesh and ring by by 10 try to parent it again no oh, it's still failing maybe we can combine it with other options uh, like the uh, vertex merge option oh. clean up merge by distance we deleted 99 vertices well that's that's a lot I, I'd say let's try it again so now we're combining all the methods to um, rig it let's check yep now it's b behaving as one mesh because it is one mesh I'm gonna select the rig clear the scale and now I'm gonna select the placeholder uh, shoe with the original one gonna go into weight paint mode transfer weights oh. make sure my by name is selected in the source layer option so weights are transferred I'm gonna delete it or you can just hide it and I'm gonna parent it to the rig by hitting control P armature deform and then now we're not getting the um, messy like offset right with the pieces so it's great this is this is what we want I'm just gonna delete half of the mesh here because it's one mesh mesh sorry um, so you'd have to use the mir mirror modifier and perform the same with the other shoe but this is basically the gist of it transfer weights method all right uh, I hope this helps someone thanks for watching